What's up, Sinal? 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 Pasqual throw line. Two minutes, 13 seconds to go. Let's see that pass. Whoa! Look away. Man! Can you hear me? Yeah, man. What's good, man? Damn, what's good, brother? Damn. Look who's in the building, guys. It's 2005 Rookie of the Year. NCAA. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 2007 NCAA MVP. No, it's crazy, man. Damn, no, time good. flies. Time flies, brother. Time flies. Time flies, man. <laughs> Thirty-seven years old, bro. That's time crazy. Flies. Man. You were you were how old when you first came out here? Twenty. I was uh Ooh, twenty. Yeah. Twenty. When I was twenty. I, was 20. I don't want. I don't want to make you feel old anymore. Like I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna <laughs> stop. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, man. But guys, um, we're joined here by Kelvin De La Pena of the Mapua Cardinals, and then um, Alaska Aces, and a couple more teams, and. I'm excited, brother, to have you here because it's been a it's been a minute since your Filipino fans have heard from you. Yeah, and, and cool, uh, man. First off, man, I just want to thank you for your time, brother. No, thank you, thank you. This is I I, I love doing I love doing these shows. I, I like I love doing these you know um, these guestings. It's yeah. so much fun, man. It's so much fun. Like why, oh, yeah. why would you not do it? It's cool. <laughs> oh, for sure, man. Especially now ECQ. Uh, here in the Philippines, and everyone's just curious about where their past hoop idols yeah. that you guys have been doing. So it's great to update them how you've been. But yeah. first off, man, how you've been during the whole? I mean, I, I know it's it's you got a better situation out there compared to here. But how how's it been, brother? Um, it's not bad actually. You know what, Alberta, where I'm where I'm at, it's Calgary. It's the the government's been really, uh, really, really strict. So. It's uh, it's not doing so good. Everyone here is pretty much, uh, they're all frustrated. Um, we feel like it's okay for us to, to get back because the, the United States is pretty much, they're pretty much back. Everyone's getting games. Everyone's playing their AAU games and their youth. So for us, it's, um, we're late. We're late. So. <laughs> Yeah, man. Bro, yeah. if you're if you're late, man, let's not talk about what's going on here. <laughs> I bet. What's, what's going on there? Do you guys don't have games yet, eh? Or, bro, it no, feels like it, it's 2020 all, all over again, bro. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, bro. It's we, lot, we, lockdown and everything. Bro, we on ECQ. Like, I don't know, man. We have I don't see any kind of improvement. <laughs> That's crazy. Even NCAA. I thought NCAA nah, was going bro. on bubble. Nothing. No, nah, bro. It, it didn't push through. Um, They planned. They planned it out, but. It's too much, uh, too much money is in, involved, bro. Oh, have a bubble. Yeah. So we're hoping, like, I think the pro leagues, though, the pro leagues are allowed to have a bubble. I think the mm -hmm. PBA is thinking about having another one. But, you know, but yeah, man, like, that's why, that's why everyone's at home checking out YouTube, trying to get to know their, their idols a little bit more. So I want, <laughs> I want to, I want to release this tonight, though. I okay, mean, tonight, cool. our time, because I want it, I want to start the week off strong with, uh, again, a cool, former man. MVP. Of the NCAA, like, no. Kelvin Del Pena of the Mapua Cardinals, bro. Where did it all start? Like, where did like I know, I know, did, I know you didn't grow up here, but I uh, no, no, I uh, well, I moved, so I grew up. I was born there, oh, and then okay. I was born. I was born in the Philippines. My parents both decided to migrate to Canada when I was ten years old. Mm -hmm. That was I moved back. Uh, 20, 20 years old when I moved back so half so 10 I moved away from the Philippines 10 and I came back 10 years later to go back to the Philippines yeah basically you grew up well your growing up years really were in Canada in Canada yeah right like because I was still a kid when I moved here right so you, you know, know when I got here yeah and like you know picking picking up the English language was I wouldn't say easy, but it was it was a uh, it was a, it was a transition. Yeah. yeah. When when did basketball start? Like when did you fall in love with it? Uh, Dude, at an early age. Oh, back in yeah, at an early age. So see, daddy, see, my dad played uh, PBA. So, okay. When was this? My bad. Oh, well, he no. played. He played. Man, he played back in like the late, you know, seventies, around the seventies. Oh, okay. He was so like Atoiko was like my godfather. Like he was playing with the Jaworskis back then, like the Freddie Hubades, Freddie Hubades, like my Nino. So like growing up, 
um when they would have their you know pickup runs you know they would yeah. they were just playing they would play i would be that kid that just like got in the way and uh so yeah i started at a very young age man that was um and it just turned from there yeah you, yeah. So you know you how it is in philippines when oh, you're yeah. when you're surrounded you know how it is man for sure especially if you have a court every street that you go in. oh dude basically you grew up around basketball so you yeah. didn't You didn't see your dad play in the PBA, but you saw him like post retirement. No, I was. I saw him post because si daddy, I think nah, he nah. stopped playing when I when I was very young. He also had a slip disc. He also oh, hurt his back. So, which is crazy story. Yeah. You know, today we kind of compare who <laughs> got the worst injury. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so he he retired at a very young age too. So he was one of those guys that were like, oh yeah, is Rick is. And then slip this. So he's also a what if story, huh? Yeah, yeah. But back then, you know, like not it wasn't recorded. Oh, it wasn't, sure. you know. So he always tells me. He always tells me that he had a better career. I, I believe. <laughs> always, always, <laughs> <laughs> always. That that competition between father always, and son. Man. Always fun. Always fun. Always. You grew up. You basically you were playing in the streets. Um, yeah, dude. When you were like what seven, eight years old? Man? Seven, eight, man. That's all I did. Like you name it, man. That's like cool. I was playing no shoes. For you know, sure. like For real. My dad was straight. Like go play. Like go play. Go. Your dad experience. was a PBA player, bro. Like get him. Get him. You didn't yeah. get shoes from your dad, bro. No, this was dude. This was like in the nineties, right? Like <laughs> you know, we didn't have back then. We didn't have Titan, tight Titan. We didn't have the Nikes. Like I remember, like when I was. When I was like nine years old, eight years old, I remember I went to this like Glorieta small store and I saw June Limpot. I remember June oh. Limpot wearing these shoes at the PBA game and I saw those shoes at Nike. I was like, fuck, man, I got to wear these June Limpots, man. I thought that was his shoes. I didn't know. I didn't know, right? I didn't know. I thought that was his like signature shoes. But then I was like, oh, everyone's, my mom, my brother was like, no, this is Nike. <laughs> oh but yeah man i just like i played i played everything when i was a kid we gotta yeah. get a hold of those limpot ones man limpot Dude, ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you went out to canada though was it a family decision it, it had nothing to do with um yeah i yeah. mean basketball or whatever it was a family decision. Had nothing to do with basketball yeah. it was it was uh my mom had an opportunity to migrate here because she was she wanted you know a better opportunities for us and then yeah. we just We started playing here. We started playing here in Canada. And then I started, you know, started making a name for myself here in Canada. I made um, the junior Canada level. I got invited to the Nike camps. Um, I got invited. I got, you know, some D Division One offers, um, junior college offers, Div two offers. And uh, the thing was, the thing was when I was growing up, I wasn't, I was, hanging out with the bad crowd okay right? so you know i was uh skipping school hanging out with like you name it man this is like in the 90s man hanging out with like the drug dealers but i was really good in basketball right so i was friends with i was friends with all the basketball players i was really good friends with the basketball players and then outside of that i was friends with like the knuckleheads yeah so i would skip school and my grades were bad i think the reason why I, the reason why i graduated high school was I took a Spanish and choir class for extra credits. That's why I graduated high school, man. That's the only reason. Why you That's the only reason, man. That's the only reason. Because, like, my dad was like, you got you to gotta pass high school. Yeah. Uh, I had an offer. I had an offer from Eastern Washington. I had an offer University Colgate in Portland. Um, who was it? Uh, Montana. Montana State. Uh -huh. And I remember Colgate, University of Colgate came to my game. And I didn't know. I didn't know they came to my game. And then right after the game, I played really well. After the game, the, the scout came out to my coach and asked my coach how I'm doing for my grades. My coach was my TA. My coach was my teacher advisor. So he was my homeroom TA. And then he can't lie. He's like, <laughs> uh, yeah, Kevin's not doing good in school. So that was the end of that. My dad beat the shit out of me, man. So... <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold up you got recruit you got um offers but you couldn't push through because of your grades because of my grades i wasn't even like i like the sats and all that stuff <sighs> not even nah, you didn't give a shit. Even, we didn't even like we didn't even talk about it right because i it wasn't even it wasn't even in a conversation so right? you were just literally a jock 
I was a jock, like straight, you know, like I knew you know, from a very young age, see daddy, he would always talk about the PBA. He would always talk about like the Philippines. So I think, you know, that was always in the back of my head that, you know, I'm going to one day play at a high level PBA or so one day school. hopefully play, play there. Um, fuck that was school. Back my head. Coach, Coach Tim Cohn ain't going to ask for my diploma anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, man. Coach Tim Cohn ain't going to ask for my diploma, man. So, <laughs> <Fuck school. laughs> so yeah. that, this was in high school. This was in high school. Yeah, this was in high school. Okay, and so then, straight up, you got like a number of offers from like yeah. Division One schools, and the only yeah, reason got, you couldn't push through. Was it's my grades. <laughs> but you graduated though. Yeah, I graduated. Yeah. You still couldn't go. I know, man. SATs, like they. I think. I think my last year, it was one of those things that, like, my grade eleven year, because my I played for Team Alberta, so Alberta is like a state. Okay. So you play for your state. So I think. I uh, played well in my junior year. I played really, really well in my, my freshman year. Um, played really well. So we went to like Montana. We went to Eastern Washington. And then from there, there was lots of scouts. There's tons of scouts. So I played really well. And then what they did was send me letters, invitation, go, uh, go to the campus visits. Um, and I would finalize my grade 12 year. And I would, you know, that was it. That was the talk. Mm-hmm. University of Calgary was the talk. A uh, couple universities, local universities, that was in the talk. But it wasn't like my, I was so bad, Mikey. My grades were like, I passed. I passed with like, you know, maybe like a 55, 60%, something, mm-hmm. some there. But when you're going to university level D1, they want you guys oh. to like, uh, they want you to yeah. get like a good GPA, high, you know, so that was it, man. That was it. And then, so what I did was I played my first year and a half played at a college, college here. For college like here. division two? Uh, it was just a college. Yeah. It was just kind of like a city college. Okay. It's called Mount Royal, Mount Royal College at that time. They're university now, but at that time it was Mount Royal College. In a way it was, it was good because, you know, uh, I, I got to stay home. So my lap was long ago. I, I was with my parents. I was with my family um so yeah so obviously growing up though um the filipino culture was present obviously because your Mm -hmm. dad your mom i mean it Mm -hmm. wasn't like you were like two years old when you went to the to to the to canada so Mm -hmm. what was that like growing up because i know that for philams and you're not even considered a philam right Mm -hmm. (laughs) i'm I'm like yeah yeah it's weird it was weird because uh like you know I, I, i spoke english like i i speak english but Sabahai, see, Tagalog. mommy and daddy, they they would always, yeah. you know, they always talk Tagalog to me. Yeah. Right? So it was like, it was natural. My, my, my mom and my dad did a really good job keeping that instilled in us. So you're yeah. 100% Filipino, 100%. Yeah, 100% Filipino. 100%. I, like my mom would has have like a little bit of Japanese. And yeah. then, of course, kasi, pag punta mo dito, pag nag english ka, film na kagad. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, man. When I first got there in the Philippines, when I first got there in the Philippines, when I first tried tried out, I think ako lang yung, yung feel kaya din eh. So when I first started trying out, lahat ng mga, lahat ng mga english, teammates diba? ko, they were like, bro, Phil, I'm ka, diba? I'm, like, oh, I'm from Canada. And they're like, what? They were so weirded out. Kasi wala, no, nobody <laughs> really goes. And they're like, what's Phil Can? That's cool. What's Phil Can? Phil, like, Phil, I'm, I'm, Phil, I'm, Phil. I'm like, no, I'm not from America, man. I'm from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> basta, basta may lahi. Or basta galing yeah. sa ibang bansa. Yeah, Phil, I'm na kagad yan. No, but... That was back then, though, Mikey. Oh, right? yeah. That was back yeah, then. Sure. Like, now, oh, it's crazy, man. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, for, for the young ones watching... Kelvin was one of the Kelvin was one of the first who came from another country. Now he didn't I can't say he came from another country, man. He was from another country. He studied there for 10 years. But yeah. during that time, it was all Filipino. It was all Filipino. Yeah. I mean, wait, you reached Sam Ekwe. So there's the yeah, first yeah, import. Yeah. The first ever import. The but first, yeah, we're gonna talk. That was that was the first ever. <laughs> we're we're gonna talk about was... Sam Ekwe a little later, but you know, he was a problem. Bro. Oh my gosh, man. Um, I think a... I honestly think like I, I give credit to that that champion Sun Beta team. Yep. If they didn't have Sam oh, Ekwe, no, maybe, no, 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 no. Fuck man. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was affected by that. Him, oh. um, I think San Sebastian 
or Letran, but a lot oh, of them. Lot of them. If they didn't have Sam Ekwe, we would be in the finals. We would be in the finals because we beat them. We beat them in the final four once. And then the next game, the next game, they beat Sam us Ekwe. by six points. Sam if Ekwe. they didn't have Sam Ekwe, I think Sam had like, 30 points, 25 <laughs> rebounds at that game. I was like, are you serious, man? Bro, How do we we're gonna, deal with this shit? We're going to give Kelvin like a lot of time to vent out about Sam Ekwe. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to give him a lot of time later oh, on. Oh, man. Sam but, knows. I, I, you know what? I see Sam Ekwe now on, on social media and I just kind of like... He, you mess with that. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, for sure, man. I, I've always said like, Sam was the Sam was the beginning of the whole the, right. whole, the change opened, of Philippine basketball, man. He opened he opened oh, the he doors. He opened doors. He opened doors. He opened doors, and not many people know about that, right? He opened yeah. the doors. Bro, I'm gonna just put this out there. I had a video maybe a few months ago. I said like top five best imports to play in college basketball, and then I had Ben Embala at number two. Mm-hmm. So people were like, "What the fuck? How is Ben Embala number two? Yo, I'm gonna tell you a story <laughs> about. <laughs> about a certain guy who had 20 and 20 <laughs> oh on a regular on a reg yeah regular. and he was up against like filipinos he he didn't go up against no no import that's why he was dominating the league year in year out but we're yes. gonna talk about big sam echo later on so um when you're growing up in a different country and you mm-hmm. have philip the Filipino culture around you. I mean, it's no disrespect to Philippine basketball, but for sure your goal, your main goal was to play there or to play in the States. Oh, that was, sure. that's, that's the primary goal. Primary so goal. there's yeah. always something that happens as to why Phil Ams end up in the Philippines. So that's Kelvin De La Pena's story. It's his, it's, it's, it's his grades. So where did that decision come from? Because I know your dad was obviously like back of his head. I can just bring you to the Philippines and you can play in the PBA or you can play college basketball there because he knows all about the NCAA, the UAP. So where did that decision come from or when did it like come up first? I think think it was, I remember vividly, I remember vividly when he was driving me to one of my games when I was in grade 12. I think think he knew then uh, uh, playing Div 1, or uh, playing university, because he she just he just accepted that. <laughs> um, I think he was started really talking to me when he would drive me to games. He would be like, "Yeah, sa Pilipinas, alam mo pa nagdaro ka don. Um, pwede ka magdaro sa Ateneo, pwede ka magdaro sa sa Lasal." So yeah. Actually, originally I was originally gonna go to Benio or Ateneo, because. My my aunt, my auntie was really close friends with um, the coaching staff and the people there and the priest there. So when I went there, I met I met the team staff and I was supposed to um, go with Coach Norman Black at the Neo. But when they told me I had to sit out for two years, I was like, I can't do two years, man. Yeah, two years. I can't do two years. That was, I was supposed to go to St. Benio Music Production. I was going to take music production. Okay. And they had a coach. They had a coach, uh, Tonichi. I, I Tonichi, Turi. Tonichi. Yeah, Tonichi. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonichi, um, so I went to tryouts. Mikey, I killed tryouts, man. I killed tryouts. And I was like, coach, I really want to come to St. Benio. I want to take music production. And he said, oh, it's too late for your enrollment. I just didn't feel, I just didn't feel him really trying hard You're for me kidding, to be. kidding, bro. So I was like, okay. No um, and and that's when, bro. and that's when Mapua came in. For me, I think, I, I think uh, Mapua, I just came in just, just to try it out to visit my dad's old school. Cause my dad, my dad went to Mapua and then it turns out like everybody was welcoming. Everybody was like, so I was like, ah, done deal, man. Hold Make up. Me- Hold up. So yeah. you. So you went to yeah. St. Benil. This was yeah. in 2004. 2004. 2004. Okay. 2004, you went to St. Benil. Mm-hmm. You tried out. You killed. Mm-hmm. And they didn't do anything about it? <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know what? I talked to, uh, I, I, I talk to Gilbert Good. I talked to Gilbert Good and Jay Sagat. Say Jay Sagat? Jay Sagat. Jay Sagat. Yep, Jay Sagat. Um, and a couple of those guys. And they they were there. They were there during the tryouts. Okay. They were there during the tryouts, and they asked me. And they're like, "Bro, what are you doing? Kalaho, gusto mo gusto mo magbinil." And I said, "I'm like, I I we reached out to Tunichi the next day, but he didn't really like. It wasn't it, he yeah, wasn't he really like. He yeah, that. he wasn't really like he's, uh, reciprocating. You know, he wasn't really like welcoming. So 
si Daddy, he just felt like nahihiya na lang kami. It was like, oh, I don't, we don't want to force him. You know, we don't want to force him to. Who so, were there, who were their players at this like 2005? Um, it was oh my gosh, uh, Orbeta, Orbeta, Paulo Orbeta, Pao, yep, Paulo, um, Lu Abad. Lou, Lou was there. Lou yeah, Abad. my man, Lou. Lou, <laughs> Lou was Abad. There. Ron Capati. Uh, no, I think it was it, 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 and then siya, it, TBA na siya. Magpayo. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are the ah, names, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the names. It's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. It's so, crazy. So hold up. They could have used you, though. Oh, bro. They had a legit team, man. No, who was their, who was their wingman? I mean, Paolo, Paolo was killing during that time. Paolo, Paolo was killing at that time. Paolo was killing at that time. Um, Magpayo. Was but yo, bro, you were the rookie of the year the very the very next year, bro. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. I, just, I, so, I can't get over the fact that you tried so out. You know, did, you know what I did when I played Saint Benil that year? Oh, yeah. I when know. I played Saint Benil, I went off, man. I like I think I dropped like 16, 18 points in the first half, man. <laughs> I went <laughs> off. I was like, okay, you know what? I, <laughs> so, but it was it was you know. Yeah, it was it, it was. All, I mean. Now it's all love. It's all love, man. It all worked out, right? But I know. But I know during that time, though, I was like, okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course, man. You know, like, you're still young. You can play. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, so basically, you didn't even look at the UAAP anymore just because you didn't want to sit out two years, which is understandable. But yeah, you knew. So, yeah, go, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so, the, the, so Ateneo, I was supposed to go to Ateneo, and I went to La Salle only one time. I went up to their practice facility. I went, I went inside Masal um, and I watched their practice, but it didn't work out because they had a tune-up game. They had an exhibition game that day or something okay. like that, so I couldn't practice with the team. That was after my rookie year, when I got my rookie of the year, FEU, La Salle, uh, Ateneo, they were trying to get me to transfer to them. But you had so to sit I out actually, two years. One year. I say I already year. sat one year. Okay. I say I already sat one year before I played for yeah. Mapua. Uh-huh. So in order for me to transfer to FEU Atene or La Salle, Sabinila, I have to yeah. one year or less. So I go, okay, I can I can do that. So I went to FEU. I even I even you know when the champion Sila versus La Salle. La Salle, La Salle. See Arwin was Arwin, there, yeah. all the boys. I was in the dugout. I was in the dugout. <laughs> Yeah, so Arwin, Sila, um, RJ cool. Rizada, Denok Miranda, RJ Rizada, si who's uh, Kaliweta, Jonas, si uh, Jeff Chan, Jeff Chan, Jeff was Chan. there, yeah. Um, si who's that guy? Other oh, point of Miranda, Miranda, Miranda. So yeah. I was, man, I was in the I was in the dugout, and they were like, oh, we can't wait for you to come here, blah blah blah. Mm. So I was like, this is it, after you, man, after you, right? And then. Um, Ateneo came in. Ateneo started talking to me. La Salle started talking to me. La Salle started offering me stuff. For sure. For sure. So for sure. I was like, what do I do? And then Mapua, Mapua was like, Mapua didn't offer me anything, but I've always been a loyal guy. I've always okay. been like, you know, I'm always all about that. Like, whoever, whoever gave me an opportunity, I'm, I'm going to stick with that. Yeah. And at that time, it was like, you know what? I, this is where I feel. This is where I feel my family's at, man. So I stayed with Mapua. But I was going to sign with FEU. Hold up. Was this all on the low? It was Everything was on the low. They bought me in. They invited me. So I went to the championship game. Wait, so no, Mapua didn't know. Game. Mapua didn't know. Mapua had no idea. Yeah. Mapua had no idea. So what? it was crazy. Because you know how pag, pag may FEU, tapos they show who's, on the, who's, who's yeah. watching the games? Yep. Obviously, you were like the rookie of the year. So right, dude, it was crazy because like I was sitting in the back and I was sitting with Coach Monch Cavieres. Yep. Coach Monch Cavieres is he's with Letran now, I think. And I was sitting with him because his dad because his dad was the coach, um, assistant coach. Assistant coach yeah, for FU, coach. right? Mm-hmm. So they're like, Yeah, invite Mr. Calvin, gonna go and be a, they like to ask him to watch t- uh, the game. So I'm like, okay, I'll watch the game. And then they fucking panned me, man. They for put sure. Me- I'm like, oh shit! For so when sure. I back, when I got back to the dorm, when I got back to the dorm, all the all my team is like, I'm not going with this game. I'm like, no, I just you know. Not lang, not lang, <laughs> not lang, not lang ako right behind yeah, FU's man. bench. <laughs> I was just watching the game, man. I was watching the game, so bro, that, bro. If if you did that today, 
Oh, I right? Could you imagine, man? If you did that today, bro, there'd be a hashtag. <laughs> yeah, it's right. We didn't have social media. No. We didn't have Instagram, no Twitter, nothing, bro. Bro, if you did that it's today, crazy. bro, you, you, your your photo would be all over, like all over the yeah. all over Twitter and all over Instagram, bro. <laughs> yeah, and not social media. And right. I feel like, bro, because NCAA was NCAA happened before the UAP. Like it ended before. Like UAP was still ongoing when the NCAA ended. So you yeah. were just, a, I can imagine that you were just awarded Rookie of the Year. Yeah, they and, just awarded me. They just and awarded NCAA, me. NCAA, UAP in the same network, Studio 23. So they know like, okay, that's Kelvin. Yeah. The Lepena behind a few bench. Okay, so this was all on the low. Even at the end, LaSalle. Everything. Everything was on the low. Yeah. And everything was on the low. Now, this is a this- great question because mm. you know how recruitment is nowadays. Like it's mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. Like to be straight up, like money is crazy. That's crazy, man. Yeah. So when 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 I get to talk to people who were offered before, mm. like that basically was the start because yeah. money wasn't really like important no. back then. Like it wasn't. No. no, it was important, but it wasn't like a thing. I'm starting to get there. I'm starting to get there because I was when I was talking to Arwin, he was like, "Meron ng konte si Arwin." Yeah. So that was your batch. I mean, that was basically. Oh. That, that, that era. Okay, yeah. so I don't want to ask who team, like which team, but, <laughs> like legit though. I want to compare yeah. with what happens nowadays. Like, yeah, what was like a big offer back then? So a team back then. I'm allowed to say this because I'm fucking 37 years old. Yeah, exactly. No, no one's gonna give. I'm not gonna. Money. I'm not gonna say the team. Okay. Um, but a team offered me a truck, and they offered me a free condo, free allowance to stay. A driver. Damn. Um, this was after your rookie of the year? After my rookie of the year. After my rookie of the year. Uh-huh. And I got it like right after rookie of the year. Someone bought me a new cell phone. Like yeah. straight, like someone brought me a new cell phone. And then um, I think it was every Sunday I would meet this person at a gas station and they would buy me shoes every fucking Sunday, Mikey. This was from a school? This is from a school. Okay, so everyone, it's not a sponsor. Okay, guys, it's from a school. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I just want to make sure, bro, because yeah. everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, Kelvin had his funky." <laughs> nah, it was from a school, guys. Yeah, shoes, cell until, phone. Until I said, until until I uh, I uh, gave him the answer I, when I told him that I was he giving him a few yeah. and obviously, yeah, yeah. yeah, the answer wasn't. Um, he has a girlfriend. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but the funky again, stopped though, when I, he said he had a girlfriend. <laughs> that was the time, man. That was the time. Yeah, I was, was like, and. I think I think I got lucky. I think I got, you know, for me, um, I was never growing up, I was never spoiled. Yeah. So I think, you know, you couldn't you couldn't really you couldn't really buy me yeah. in a way. Yes. So and I would tell my dad, and see see daddy, daddy was like, I don't got going with that. what what are you gonna do with that? Like we, we buy you shoes. We yeah. send you shoes and we send you allowance. So for like, bro, what's tougher with this like this this situation was I mean, yeah, they, they were trying to buy you. But mm-hmm. ultimately, though, it's not a bad school. I mean, it's not like you were going to go. It's not like a downgrade. I mean, no. for any, I mean, if anything, it's an upgrade because of the league. I'm not saying like it's an upgrade because of the school. But oh. UAP, UAP, bro. Sure. Like, so oh. it wasn't like, Mikey, so it was I'm, a win-win. I'm, it was a win-win, man. Talk, yeah. Trust me. Like, I looked, like, I, uh, I always have this, this discussion now. If I went to Ateneo, I would still be in the PBA today. For sure. For sure. I'd still be in the PBA today. Coaching. F-E-U-P- F-E- yeah. Coaching. Still a practice player. Exposure. Something. Something. Sure. Oh, man. MVP was already there. Not yet. Wala pa. Not yet. Wala pa. Oh, okay. Papo- Wala papasok pa lang sa MVP. Yes. Yes. Last year ko. Last year ko. And Sam Ekwe. Start ni Sam Ekwe. Sam- ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam Ekwe. No, no, no. But MVP was already in Ateneo. Ateneo, yes. He was so, there, but but he wasn't like... He, he wasn't, wasn't the like, main yet. He wasn't the yeah, main. he wasn't the main yet. Okay. He was just like overseeing it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Overseeing it. But he wasn't like the main guy yeah. until yeah. like later, siguro mga uh, uh, last year or second last year. Pero aabot ka. I would, I would uh, think yeah. so. I would believe yeah. so. Damn. I would believe so. I mean, yeah. I mean like at a young this age. LA. I mean, dalawa ni LA. LA... When I uh, when I got to the Philippines, I played for U twenty Philippines team. There was a uh, when we went to Iran. So it was me, 
Ray Guevara, Brian Faundo, um, Regine Reneses, who else? Oh my gosh, there's a couple of guys on that team. Coming to LA, we were we got close because roommate came in when we went to Iran. So LA was like, bro, why don't you just go, go to Ateneo, man? Yeah. So he would always talk to me about Ateneo. And I didn't know about Ateneo. I was like, yeah. oh, okay. Wait, you know? this was Prima Pua? This is Prima Pua. No, oh. this is after my this is like my residence year, Mapua. Okay. Okay. This is residence year Mapua. Hindi pa ako nagro rookie of the year, no? Yeah, yeah. He's like, bro, like, gano sa Ateneo, ganto, ganto sa Ateneo, like, supported ka. So I was like, oh, okay, that sounds nice. But, yeah, rest you know, is history. Yeah. <laughs> 37, can't you just yeah. look back now? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, at least you, you got know? rookie of the year MVP, bro. I had, I had yeah. three wins in UP, bro. Talk yeah. about <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey, how many did you get, bro? That's crazy. I don't even know. What year did you graduate? You graduated? No, no, no. I was I was um 2014. Bro, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. bro I was in I was in grade seven when you won rookie of the year. Oh really? That's crazy. Damn man, yeah. thanks, man. You're making me feel <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't want to go there, bro. I don't want to go there. <laughs> but wait, so Atene so Atene was already present pre Mapua. Yeah. Yes. And then let's just say you win rookie of the year, then they double down. Whoa. They doubled down, like yo. Dude, they were like, like on me. I had an agent. His name is Mike Mike Gonzalez. I don't know okay. if he's around still. Not sure. Not sure. Yeah, he's he's from LA, and he had connections with the team. So and they were like 2006. 2005. So 2005. Going, so you would have played 2007. That's right. So that That's was right. their championship year. Oh no 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 no! They lost to. No, 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 no. That was La Salle's championship. But you would have played how many seasons? Like, how many more seasons? Two, three? Um, two. Two. Two years. Three years. Maybe three wait, years. Wait, wait, wait. So you were supposed to be in that 2008 championship team. Right. So you were supposed to be playing... You were supposed to play with... Um, Doug Kramer. Doug Kramer. Marquez Mas- Calona. JC Intal. All those guys. Yeah, yeah. Chris Chu. So, yeah, yeah. All Eric those guys. Salama. Chris Chu. Chris Chu, yeah. Chris, Eric, um, Raba Alusaini, Salamat, Raba, bro. Um, Buenafe was Buenafe there? I don't know. If 2008, was. he was there. 2008. Yeah, you yeah. would have been the senior. Yeah, I would be there. I would be. With or you would have been with La Salle with Ty Tang, Ty Tang, JV Casho, Ryan, you know, JV, Rico Meyer Hoffer, Rico. Yeah, all those guys. Or man. you would have been with FPU. With, with, I know, right? It's great. <laughs> bro, that would have changed the whole like yeah. landscape, bro. That would have yeah. changed the whole landscape. But yeah. yo, like I gotta, I gotta say, man, your loyalty is crazy. To think that you were in a win-win situation if you transfer, and I'm, I'm sure, like nothing against Mapu, but Mapu would have been like, like yo, we gotta give him like, like benefit of the doubt if he wants yeah. to transfer, like yeah, like, yeah. I was, I was really, I was really, really close with the guys, man. Like I'm still close with the guys. You know, with my teammates, my teammates now, I'm, you know, some of my teammates, I'm trying to bring them to Canada. Okay. Wait, who were, who were your teammates back then? Was this like Joffre Jonathan Gonzalez, Banal? Jefferson Gonzalez, Jefferson. Sean Cole, Neil Pascual, uh, Colot Somalino. Colot, yes. Uh, Colot. Uh, Ian Banal. Mazo. I think so, Banal was already there, right? Yeah. Jonathan Banal, Jonathan. yeah. Ah, Jonathan okay. Benal, Alan Mangahas. Alan, Alan Mangahas, the snake. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the snake. Irwin Cornejo. So Irwin Cornejo. Cornejo. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. And um, so, okay, so you stay in Mapua. All mm-hmm. right, rookie season. Um, I think I just want to put this out there too. Like when you're a Philam or a Philam, you really don't know what the difference is with the schools. Mm-hmm. Like you don't. Like you just come in, they're all the same. You, you don't know that. UAP is more exposed. You didn't know that Atreo you, you, you get to know it a little bit. Yeah, when you're already there. That's right. When you're already there. So yeah. I'm sure when you were uh, you were you were during your residency year and your first year, you were like, oh shit, like I didn't even know that. No idea. UAP was that crazy. I mean, I'm sure even when you were in the yeah. in the finals, if you yeah. yeah, you were probably like, oh shit, like Araneta. This is, this is insane. Like looking looking around where you're like, you see artistas watching the game. You're like. Yeah, man. Oh, Nobody, sure. no, no artistas watch me at Mapua, man. <laughs> in, in, Rizal, in Rizal Coliseum? No. Yeah, man. It's, like, shit. it's like, I get all these artistas here, man. Shoot, man. Yeah. So <laughs> you were probably like, that was one of the factors for sure. That's why you were like thinking about it. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Sure. so your dad's 
suggestion or your dad's advice was like cliche follow your heart follow my heart follow where you're happy you weren't happy with the truck bro no man you know what it's crazy because my my i was lucky enough that my parents bought me a car oh because if they didn't (laughs) yeah so my parents bought me a car so when after my rookie year i I asked my parents i'm like i i I go to pbl practice and i'm taking the jeep here's a phil phil am guy taking a fucking jeep man (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> taking a taxi all the time so my yeah. mom's like okay we got to get you a cheap car yeah so you're safe yep yeah, yeah. but they were so you were offered a truck condo allowance for sure yep man i gotta come at your loyalty though so you stayed with mapua oh plus yep. you can't play in the pbl if you transfer that's right okay so that's, that's another right. thing that was another yeah that was another yeah. thing and and at that time i was playing granny goose and Harbor, Harbor. Harbor. I got traded from Harbor to Granite Goose. Okay, so basically you were like you were making okay money because PBL was paying. Yeah, it was PBL decent. Was it was paying. decent. Yeah, it was decent. It was decent. Like you know, I got a I got a car. I was driving, and then I got a pretty good allowance because that, yeah. that so were, at that time because rookie rookie of the year kyun eh. Oh, so naman. Medyo, medyo, ko, oh. medyo mabangoy, mabangoy yeah. ko eh. So yeah. when um, I signed, my agent did a good job of getting me a good yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, so you were okay. So it wasn't like Yeah, yeah, I was okay. And yeah. honestly, like my parents did a good job, man. They, my parents okay. did really, really did a good job. Yeah. Like looking back, looking back, yeah, I got a truck and condo. And I got a truck and whatever it was, but where would I be in terms of happiness? Like for sure, for sure. Yeah, bro, this was La Salina Ateneo. It wasn't like it was a bad school, bro. That's why that's why I keep saying like I mean, yeah, I commend your, but like, it's not like you were gonna go to a worse school and get money. Yeah. No, <laughs> man, I'm telling you. I, okay, I, lang, I, marami na mga spunky sa mapuwata. <laughs> yung teammates dude, mo na malata, yung teammates <laughs> mo na malata, dun malalakas eh. <laughs> oh, grabe yung mga yun, eh. Especially, I'm not gonna say any name. Bro, no, 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 no. But I can imagine though, na ikaw yung ano, Ikaw yung front nila. Na parang dadaling ko si Kelvin. They used to, bro. They used to. They used I can to, imagine, bro. bro. Dadaling ko yung teammate kong fila. Pogi to, pogi. <laughs> bro, they used to, man. I remember those times, man. Oh my gosh. It's a good times, though. Like, yeah, for sure. Now, for sure. Know? They'd bring you along just so, you know, they have a front. Like, oh, dala kami so pogi, fun. fila. <laughs> It's so fun, man. And you and they tell you like, no, kain lang, just just. That's it. That's, yeah, it. that's it. That's it. Free lang, bro. Free food. I'm like, okay. Then we go go let kela lang, may abot. Yeah, free food. And then my teammates are like, bro, ito sa yo. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea, man. Yo, yo, yo. I can imagine, bro. Oh <laughs> my funny, god. Though. But yeah, so let's talk about your rookie of the year season first. When you first got into the league and say. Um, 2005. You mm-hmm. were you weren't a rookie. You get what I'm saying? Like you weren't a rookie, rookie. You were a vet. Okay? Mm-hmm. And and during this time, uh, well, until now, NCAA they allow rookies who aren't rookies to win rookie of the year. Because in the UAP, you gotta be fresh off high school. Off high school. Yeah. So you guys, you could be senior already when you come in, one and done, and you can still win rookie of the year. Okay. Yeah. So I wanna I don't wanna say it was easy for you, but mm-hmm. more or less like. You knew how it went, like college, the college game. I don't know about the physicality though, because yep. that's the number one thing. That's the biggest difference yep. between playing in this and like, and this is NCAA. Bo Belga was still there. Oh, dude, me and Bo used to go at it, man. For real. Me and Bo, Jason Castro, Jason Castro. Gabby. Like Gabby. This, this, and this is a thing, right? Like this is the thing that, like, I look at these guys in the PBA now. Like I look at Bo and how his career has just wow. Legend. And I look at Jason, and Jason is just like he. Jason will go down as one of the best in Philippine history. Oh, for sure. La La Tenorio will go down, and then recently I just saw JC retire. Right. Mm-hmm. So, and I look at these guys, and I'm like, holy shit! What would if I didn't get injured? Yeah, you know, bro, like, you, yeah. You were you were on that. You were on that. Like, <laughs> if I didn't get injured, you were but, on that tier. You were on that. Like Kelvin, uh, when you when you talk about Kelvin Del Peña, for the young ones that are watching right now, when you talk about Kelvin Del Peña, it was yeah. like. You were more or less one of the first big point guards. You could have played. You, you, I don't think you played point guard though in in the NCAA because obviously no, you had point we, guards. Yeah, we had a point guard. Yeah, they, they made me a shooting guard. Yeah, she, yeah but you could, could have played. You were a combo yeah. guard. I was a combo guard because we had si Alan point guard, tapos si Jonathan. Jonathan, so kainailangan yeah. mong mag shooting, shooting guard. Yeah, but you knew that when you were gonna get to the PPA, you could play both. Yes, that's right. I could yeah. play. 
point. Yeah. yeah. You you were on that tier for sure. And then um Pong Escobals, yes. um Kelvin de la Peña, and then you got Jason Castro. Um who else were there? Man, they got some they got some names. Uh what's his name? He's he's in the PBA still. Oh my god, the guy that plays with Pong. I'll, he's I'll, the other point guard. Board uh Borgi, Borgi, yeah, Borgi, yeah. Borgi, yeah. So, um, Lanete was there. Chico, ay, Chico, uh, Gabo. Gabo was there. Yeah. Um, Did you yeah. reach Sudan, Daniel? No. Um, no, no. no. So you were all Samekwe. Samekwe. Actually, Sudan yata, one year yata, so Sudan. One yeah. One year uh, to Sudan. I think, I, I don't know. I don't, yeah. I, man. Okay, so when you got into the NCA, you, like, the physicality was, you could run with it. You could roll with it. You were used yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my um, so I was I knew going in, I knew going in that it was gonna be physical. I knew going in. So like one thing for me is I had I I've been again I've been lucky to have a really sh- strong work ethic. So before no residence ako, before no rookie year year ako, I really hit the weights, man. Like it was one of the, like it was like I gotta get ready because everyone's gonna like gun me. Residence year ko, I think already and again uh, this is not to make my album here no, like, no, I'm, no, not, no, no, no. I'm not here to do that right like when i was residents i think i was in like three articles three magazines and then i was in newspaper and i was telling these people i'm like what the fuck are you guys doing like i haven't even played a game yet and you guys are like <laughs> you guys want me to get my ass kicked uh, my rookie year <laughs> i'm gonna have a target i'm gonna be a target <laughs> i'm gonna yeah, be a man, target I'm like, what's wrong with you guys right this was before everything <laughs> before everything right I, i was only a resident yeah and um so dad my dad saw that my dad's like oui can i mag work out kasi yeah, sure. i'm just like no oh your dad knew your dad knew my dad knew my dad knew right so you know he gave me a heads up yeah. he gave me a heads up papu oh, at that time papu at that time sila joffer sila colo those guys were dirty man. oh for sure man those guys were dirty like <laughs> like hit you in practice like like fight so i think so i got used to it. i got a i got a question for philams or mm-hmm. people come from a, like you were talking about your work ethic <laughs> it's funny because you know here in the philippines mm-hmm. the challenge during that time was who puts the least work and plays the best that was the thing we gotta be honest here like that yeah. was the thing before until even my era like who puts in the least work But still play, and, but still balls like the Alan yeah. Mangases. Oh man, it's <laughs> and you come in with a work ethic, bro. Oh man. So how was it like to to see that Filipino culture? Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not yeah. like hating on anyone, but this was the thing before. Like if you didn't Mikey, put in would... work, but you still would ball, you were like solid. Mikey, I got punched. I got punched. Sinuntok ako ni sinuntok ako ni Kolot because in one practice I got so mad because. It was, <laughs> it was during practice. Um, we had a chance. Natalo kami sa NCAA Final Four. So I was like, at that year, it was Kobe Bryant. That year, he was like the Kobe, right? Like the Mamba mentality. So for me, it was like, man, I gotta, I gotta motivate my teammates. We almost made it to the finals. Blah 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 blah. So at that time, yung Dota, Dota gaming, Dota, <laughs> they were on it. It was insane. It was insane, yeah. right? It was insane. And these guys would literally after practice, we pa practice kami six o'clock. Tapos ang practice mga nine thirty. Dota na yah. Dota na. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what's going on, right? I'm like, what's going on? Dota na. It was like ten up ten a.m. to literally ten a.m. to like literally like four. And then yeah. hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers that they would go to work out or shoot around. And they wouldn't after know. going dinner. After going dinner, back to ano naman back internet to... internet ano cafe house. cafe yeah cafe and then they would go again. So one day in practice, one day in practice, I called everybody out. Really? I called everybody out. Yeah. So you know, kasi ako I would from from 6 a.m. from 6 a.m. practice, I would be there like 5:30. First one after practice, I would stay there till 12 in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. So it was like when everybody was done at 9:30, I would. Be finished around 11:45. Kakain ako ng lunch so that I can like go to Makati, Mapua. Because at that time IT ako, so I would finish my 11:45. Pagtapos ng mga classes, I would go back to Mapua, magwo wait sa ko, magwo workout ako, 
go for dinner after my dinner, shoot around at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, so, and this was all when they were all in the inner And they were fucking playing Dota. I was like, what? <laughs> Bro, I was like, what? So, right? So, I was what? like, I'm like, malapit na tayo. I'm like, I was like, we, we were there. We're so close. We're so close. You, you lost four. to who? San Beda? I know. Um, um, PCU, San Beda. PCU. Baste, PCU. 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 Okay. Okay. PCU. So you lose to PCU. No. Off season, you were like oh, dude. focused. Yeah. I was okay. there, man. I was yeah. like, let's do this, please. <laughs> What happened in practice though? I got punched, man. So pagbalik namin sa, pagbalik namin sa, 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 sa dorm, pagbalik namin sa dorm, kolot, I called everybody out. Pag- in the dorm or in practice? In, in practice. Okay, in practice. In practice. I called everybody in practice out. I'm like, like, you guys are fucking lazy. Like, malapit na tayo. Tapos, I called everybody out. And I, I mean, called everybody out in front of the coaches, in front of the students that were watching. Ooh, okay. Right? Like, I was like, you guys are fucking lazy. Blah, blah, blah. Kala nyo kung sino na kayo. Ganon, ganon. Like, I put in my time. I could have gone to, I could have gone to UAP. And I was, I went off. I went off. I went off. And then I came in, I came in and then just straight, boom, punch me. I got, <laughs> I got knocked out, man. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where. I got knocked out. By, and Kolot was my best friend at that time. Yeah, yeah. Kolot oh, was Kolot, my best friend. Kolot, yeah. was, Kolot was fun to be with, to be honest. Yeah, he's, he's, he's my guy. Like, I love the guy. But we, we talk about it now. We talk about it now. And we like, you know, so... The funniest thing though, PC was probably in the internet cafe too. <laughs> probably, dude. Probably all of them. Shit, right? Because that was the thing. Like, let's be that honest, man. Like, that was the thing. Like, work ethic wasn't. Now you see the trainers, you see mm-hmm. skills coaches, mm-hmm. you see mm-hmm. strength and conditioning. We didn't have that shit before. Mm-hmm. Like, before yeah. extra work was five spots before practice. That's it. That was it, bro. And five like... spots, 10 makes, you're done. <laughs> yeah. And Not even watch, 10 minutes, like, 10 shots. 10 shots. And you feel good. Okay, now, okay, now. Okay, now. Naka shooting na ako, Dota na. And it would drive me nuts, Mikey. I can't imagine. Because, like, for me, it was like I left my family and my goal was to play PBA. Diba? So it was like, okay, rookie of the year. What now? I don't, I, I, like, what now? I didn't, I didn't commit to UAP. So what now? Like, I need something. I need something. Diba? I need to make it to the finals yep. so i think it went away it was blessing in his guys because all that work helped me get an mvp oh for sure for sure so you know yeah it's you know it's <laughs> <laughs> it's funny when you look back now so um, back now. that was your first season rookie of the year second season you had a good year you had a good year my second season was horrendous Oh, for real? As a team or like individually? Me, individually. Oh, okay. So that's so, like a sophomore slump thing? My sophomore slump, man. My rookie of the year, I think I averaged like 14 points a game rookie of the year. Sophomore, I burnt out. I burnt out. I was playing, I was playing RP. So I, I was, I just finished yung, yung U20 with LA. I just finished a season with Granny Goose. I got traded from Harbor to Granny Goose. And then we had a coach that would fucking have us practice for five hours <laughs> and the practice was at UP Diliman tapos yung dorm namin in Trumuros yep. uh-huh. so right after practice ng Mapua I would leave so I can make it to Granny Goose practice pag tapos ng Granny Goose practice it was like 7 o'clock I would go home to Mapua I would be back to Mapua 9.30 tapos I have to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning again for 6 I burned out man bro is this coach Jolipa? No, no, no. Okay, Jolie, okay, okay. I had coach Jolie Pagrani Goose and he left. There was, ah, what's his name? He, Mejo, he was a younger guy. He doesn't coach, coach anymore. Younger guy. Uh, he had, he had hair. Now, you know, he was the coach of Montaña and he had Alex Compton. He had Al Vergara. Oh but my he, gosh. But Taga UP or no? Because Coach Jolie Pa was from UP. That's why. Coach, coach Joe was the UP and then he left Granny Goose and there was one guy in the Pumaso. Uh, so, umabot ka pa kay Coach Joe. I did. I did one year. Five that was, yeah. So this, one, this, one. so this new coach had you practice five hours. Dude, <laughs> I was like, what is this, man? This is crazy. <laughs> oh, so second season, like so, so, so I can just imagine what, like how you were getting into that off season after that so, so sophomore season. Mm-hmm. I can just imagine how locked in you were mm-hmm. to get back on track. Uh, yeah. Because your yeah. your offers weren't there anymore. <laughs> yeah, my I was done my offers. Because I tapos yeah. na yung mapuwa. Ay yung rookie of the year ko. Uh, 
and then, then sophomore, sophomore had a bad year. Mm -hmm. So I, I told myself, I'm going back to Canada for four months. Oh, okay. This was during the off season. Oh, during the off season. So after the off season, I actually did online schooling with Mapua. <laughs> so I said, Coach Horacio was my coach. I said, Coach, um, I don't know if I'm going to be back because I'm burnt out. I don't know if I love the sport. I oh, just got it reached that point. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be back. Um, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go home, spend time with my family. I haven't seen my family. I got homesick. Um, I played like shit. Yeah. And I want to just go home and find my happy in basketball again. Yeah. Went home. And then I came back, man. I worked out. I worked out here. I did my programming for four months that year. And then I came back and I was just like, boom, let's yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. So, so you did online schooling just in case. You just in case. To go back. Just in yeah, case. Oh, that, that was yeah. smart though. You're like, you didn't, you didn't want to close the door. Didn't want to close the door. Didn't want to yeah. close the door. Right. Like I was still there. Uh, and I knew that in the back of my mind that I, I, I have to go and I have to give it a shot and play PBA. Oh yeah, for sure. Like that's the culmination of your career. Like even if you were burned out as hell, you knew that you just needed you needed time away. I needed, you needed a break. Time. Yeah, you needed I needed a break. a break. I can imagine three teams, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and now you like that's like you can't. I don't think like back then they work you to the ground. I don't know if they do that now. No, no, no. They're smarter now. It's I, yeah. before it was no pay, no gain. <laughs> Dude, I played. I played. I played games with three herniated discs, man. Oh my god. So. <laughs> yeah. Now it's now it's more work work smart. Work smart, yeah. work smart. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the coaches, the strength and conditioning coaches, yeah. like they're more intellectual. Now. I mean, I'm not saying the ones before weren't, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, they yeah. kind of like it's just the evolution of the game, evolution of the yeah. game. Okay. So for sure. So um, before your rookie uh, MVP season, though, let's talk about um, like San Beda. Mm -hmm. This was um, Pong Escobal, Al yeah. Jamal, yes. Magay, yeah. Yeah. Borgi, yeah. Sam Ekwe. Um, Lanete. what's that guy's name? Uh, he's the bigger guy. Marcelo Pascual. Marcelo. Pascual. Marcelo Pascual. They had a legit team, man. That Bro, team was... Ooh, no, I want to ask you this because I messaged this guy and I want to have him on this segment as well. Because mm -hmm. you and Pong Escobar yeah. were going at it. Yeah. Pong Escobal was one of the smartest motherfuckers you can find. Bro. Like he wasn't I, fast. He wasn't. He was he I, had a first step though. He had a first step. I don't know why to this day he is not involved in PBA Filipino basketball. Yeah. I still wonder that, Mikey. Like I still ask myself, like, because he's from Davao. Yep. So I'm from Davao too. My mom's from Davao. Okay. I'm Bisaya. He's his dad is close friends with my uncle. Okay. So him once in a while we text each other. Oi, bro, come star. Like For real. I still don't understand bro. why he's not giving his brain to Philippine basketball. Bro, this and guy you can was tag him. You can tag him. him when you post this shit, man. <laughs> bro, I want I, I just messaged him um, over the he weekend. Was, bro, he was so fucking smart, man. Bro. He was like he was like one of those guys he caught the ball. Every time I would close out a close out the hole. I would I would worry about the shot. I would worry about the jab step. So the close jab up, step, bro. Dude, yung 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 ano niya, yung timing niya, yung pa pa pa. Yep. I would be like, my hands would be here, my hands would be here, my hands. I would be like, okay, you know, like watching him yeah. and his brain was like, Poof. and he nah. was he was he stayed low every oh. time. Like he wasn't playing for the camera or anything. Like. Mm -mm. Nowadays, you get the ball, you're standing up, and you're like jabbing. No, he was low, jab, mm -hmm. fake, jab. And then Sam Ekwe, he knew how to like get him involved. Galing na timing. Galing na timing. Ball was the guy, man. Yeah, Bro, man. Uh, I don't know day. why he's not coaching. He's not coaching. Is he coaching? No. No, 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 no. He was yeah, one yeah. of the last time I saw him was he was with Talking Text. That's it. That's it. That's the last time. That's the last time. I even I even got to practice with him a couple of times when I was practicing with Talking Text when I was younger. Yeah. And then I I could still see him. Like people say he wasn't fast enough for the PBA. People say he wasn't strong. But bro, that mind would have yeah. that mind would have would have would have oh. would have taken care of anything yeah. that he didn't have phys physically or athletic athletic wise athletic athlete wise. But yeah. Bro, man, athleticism okay. wise, he wasn't there. But do you um? Do, can you give me five minutes? Go, 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 go. Take I all the time. Ordered some, I just ordered. Take some all food. the time you eat, brother. This is all recorded. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Go ahead. Go ahead.
Mikey, sorry, man. It's all good. It's all good. Bro, I was just so I was just watching some of your clips because I'm gonna put yeah. it in the video. You you nah. made it to the arena time. I mean San Juan Arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you first played Rizal Memorial. Rizal Memorial. And, and then, then when they transferred played... to Arena, nandun ka pa. Kun- yeah, Cuneta. Ana Cuneta muna. Yeah, and then San Juan. So this yeah. was like, so you were, you're not that old. I'm, I'm the, oh, thanks, man. <laughs> no, because you made it to the arena time. I don't think Pong played in the arena. He did, he did. He did? He did, he did. I, I don't even remember anymore how, yeah, how yeah, long yeah. ago they transferred to the arena, but I remember the Rizal Memorial days. Yeah, yeah. The he Rizal played, Memorial he time. played, um, I think me and Pong at the same time graduated at the same time. Uh, but yeah, yeah like, did. Oh, so you did. So you played in the uh, arena. Sam, uh, Sam Ekwe played there too. Uh, Al Jamal played there. I remember those... like when I when I think about San Beda the arena, San Juan yeah. Arena, it's already like Sudan, um, uh, Anjo Sam, Karam. Sam played there. Oh, Sam played there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so anyway, about Pong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, I don't even know, like he was he so, he came bro, out of nowhere. He came out of nowhere. When when he when he got when he got scouted by San Beda. A lot of people, I think he got scouted second year, go, sophomore, okay. go. And people were saying, this guy from Davao, this guy from Davao. I'm like, who is this guy? Right. And then I saw an exhibition game. I saw an exhibition game and he was playing. And I was like, this motherfucker is like, like Jason Kidd, man. Like, pop, pop, pop. And, you know, like it, he could change the game without scoring a single point. And he didn't make highlight plays. No. You wouldn't see no. him in the top 10, top 5 plays. But like I championship mean, winning basketball. Bro. He was he would probably make a he would probably make a like an alley pass to Sam because like he was that good at anticipating plays. His good. brain moved three, four, five plays ahead. He was here. If he coached today, oh my gosh. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's why I, I want to get him on. I want to ask what's up with him. But yeah. Um, one guy though, I played for. Uh, Alex Angeles. Oh yeah, he's coaching. He's coaching. That's my guy. Yep. Alex Angeles is coaching. I played for him uh, just this past year in the MPBL. He was he was coaching us. He was an <gasps> assistant coach. Easy. So Alex Angeles was also the, the king lion back then. He was sure. man. Yep. He was. He that was made... one of the guys too. One of the guys. Very smart man. So they very had a squad, huh? Like Sam. A... Oh gosh. So 2005, you come in. When did Sam Ekwe get in? Was he already uh, there? No, no, he came in, I believe, sophomore year ago. Okay, so, year. so you played without Sam Ekwe first. First, without Sam Ekwe. Yeah. I say, I say at that time, so it was Letran 1, first year ago, rookie, rookie year ago, Letran versus, I want to say Perps. I okay. want to say Perps, Perpetual. Okay. okay. I said they had had beer. No, I had beer. Wait, so you know, si Kiel Misa. Kiel Misa. <laughs> Yeah, uh, ra- rapport? rapport, 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 yeah, rapport? yeah. yeah. Somewhere, yeah. Somewhere. rapport or rapport, yeah, 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 dude. Letran, Letran, Boyet, Boyet, eh, Ron J, yo, in fact, they had Ron J, they had Ron J. Boyet, Junio, they had Junio, oh my god, um, Paundo, oh, Paundo. they had um, Big Mac, they would probably hit you every time you get Bro. in the lane. Rodriguez, Eric Rodriguez, Rodriguez, Eric Rodriguez, no. Yo, Ta'a, uh, what's Ta'a, what's ta, what's his name? Ta'a, Ta'a. Ta'a. Holy da-a. shit, man. Bro, every time, every time, they had a play. Meron kami play. Meron kami play na UCLA. Uh-huh. Uh, UCLA. Right. No, 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 they had a play. They had a play UCLA. So, si Boya tatawa, gagano na tatawa. And then, I would guard Boya. He would pass to the wing, just met on back door. Upstreet. Every single fucking time back door, man. See Eric, like right on my ribs. <laughs> and I would, I would, I would remember Coach Louie. I would remember Coach Louie a couple of times. I would remember Coach Louie a couple of times, look at Eric and go. I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck, I was like, damn. <laughs> That's, what yeah. That's what they do. That's what they do. That's what they did, man. Yo, That's what they did. Bro. Yeah. So this was that the was, man, this was the era. This was the era. That was and, that was Ron J. Ron J. was the man. Ron J. Then, bro, Ron J. Really. Ron J. Really was the man. <laughs> Tapos he had a he had a bad two years. Yung paalis na siya. Yeah, yeah. But Ron yeah. J. though was man. He was a hooper. He was a hooper. Like the shit he was doing in residence year call. 
yeah. residential ko and I was I would watch Letran versus San San Sebastian with like Nico Leo Uy, na Horda. Leo na Horda, Nico Uy. Nico Uy, no. Okay. Um, um, Balest- Balesteros. Balesteros, yeah. The big Balesteros. Guy. Balesteros. Yeah. Um, man, oh. all those guys, man. Like, I was like, man, this Bron J, this Bron J guy. Like, he was physical, too. He yeah. was already good and he was a yeah. bad boy. Bad boy. Like, <laughs> spit at you. Like, yeah. I remember, yeah, I was about to ask you. Bro, I remember, I remember watching him at Sarisal. That was, it was packed. It was packed. And I just kind of peeked over. I was like the first time watching Filipino basketball. I was like, I peeked in. And I remember he hit a shot. He fell down on the floor, tripped the guy, tripped the guy. And then running up and down, he went like this on the side. He went, I'm like, what the fuck is going on, man? I'm like, what? I was like, damn, this is crazy. This is Filipino basketball, I guess. Bro, no social media. No, like, Nothing. ABS only had like maybe two angles. They, no. They couldn't, they couldn't see it. They couldn't see it. He was good, it was, man. It was, it was amazing. But that, that was what it is, right? That's what I love about NCAA, man. Yeah, man. That's, That's different. What I love about. Especially Rizal, man. You felt like you were in a cage. Yeah. You felt like you were in a cage and everyone was, was like, like, bang, yeah. bang. And then it was like sweaty. It was I'm like, oh, it, you know? no air cool, no AC. Yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but then, and then the bleachers, had, they, they had the cage, right? Like, oh, yeah, then everyone would cage. be like. <laughs> I don't know why they had that cage. It's I don't know. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> but it was crazy. It was crazy during that time. So you reached that era. And then, yeah. Bill, bro, like, so your MVP year was in, um, was in Arena. Yes. So San you Juan. went, oh, bro, that was a big upgrade. I mean, coming from a... San Juan, man. I but you could that. consider it a downgrade, too, because it was crazier in Rizal. It was crazy. It, it was crazy in Rizal. Cuneta was like... Cuneta was, was fine. Okay. Cuneta was fine, because the PBA, the yeah, yeah. PBA yeah. games. But Arena was kind of malinis. Ne. Malinis. And you know what? Arena was new. Arena was new back then, yeah. Your I dugouts were crazy nice too. Dugouts were new. I was like, holy shit. This is Rizal, <laughs> Dude, we would shower in Tabo. My teammates were like, bro, what's your shower account? I'm like, no, fuck this. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, remember, I remember before, like, I remember in dugout, mag- and you fucking take a piss, tapos you're like, oh. Like, <laughs> I was like, come on, man. Like, come on, watch this, right? Like, <laughs> But San Juan, man, someone was up. Someone was nice. Someone was nice. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, my bad. We were we, we went all the way from, from Equi to that. So, Sam Equi, though, when he first entered the league, how did yeah. he change, like, college basketball in general? College basketball. Change, change everything. Yeah. He changed everything. He was, it's, it's not about, like, trying to stop him. It just even changed our game plan. Yeah. The way, the tempo, because I remember... When we played them sa, sa final four, um, our game plan throughout the whole year was push, 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 attack, yeah, attack. Kasi may yeah. Sean kami, may Jonathan Banal kami, may Gonzalez. So we had guys that can like go. I, it was me um, really push the ball. So no final four, we changed it, man. It was like, we have to hold on to possessions. We have to value possession. We have to swing, swing, swing. It was it, it completely changed. Completely changed. I mean, the guy was averaging like 25 rebounds a game, eight blocks a game, right? So our, you know, at that time, at that time, wala pang Golden State era. Wala, wala know? three points, three points. Wala pang three points, three points, where it was like everything was three, right? Back then it was like, boom, post up. <laughs> Post up, right? Like pag, it was like boom, boom. Pag hindi ka, pag tumi three points ka, takot ke. Yeah, right? Kasi mumurahin ke. Puta yan. It's like, ano bang tira yan? Ganun, ganun, right? Like back then, it was like, get to the line, yeah. you slasher ka, slasher. And, oh, and like, go, hard. go hard. Like, go hard dapat to. Go hard. Go hard. Yeah, go hard. Right? But, but we e couldn't do that, bro. E we couldn't do that, right? Yeah. So it was like, what the fuck do we do? <laughs> yeah. And and with with Equitu, so when he came in, would other teams like talk up, talk to other teams and be like, how the fuck? Do, like, yeah. You, it was it was it was a it was a it was a running joke. It was like how, it was, dude. I think the only team, the only thing that really matched up with San Beda was Letran. Letran. They and, were like hitting him. <laughs> hey man, they didn't. 
Voila, like give a shit. And and the Tran was the Tran had at least seguro five, six big guys. Nah, that can play tapos like tire rough. Him out. Yeah, they were try, try, right? trying to so, tire him out. Yeah, so if Faundo would Faundo would go, Big oh, Mac would go, Da would go, and then they had three, four more guys that would like that built like from like Tondo and shit, <laughs> right? So those guys would come in, those would come in, tapos. They would punch him. They would they would pinch him, right? And and it changed. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Not just Sam Ekwe. They also had a guy named OG Minor. OG. Oh my gosh, the legend. Right? <laughs> so they also had this guy named OG Minor. It was like they had the Pont Escobar. They had the fucking Al Jamal. They had Alex. OG. Or- they had Alex. They had Pasqual. Yeah, but- they had Marcelo. They had. Um, Sam Ekwe and then at that year they were going to the states to get special training yeah. and then you put OG Minor that plays one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> so it was like oh, what the yeah. hell man what do we do with you guys oh, it was crazy it was crazy I think they also had like Jared Dixon Dixon was there right Shaq, That's Shaq was there baby Shaq was there baby Shaq was there that team was stacked bro yeah, they were like seniors to undergrads to rookies. They were. Complete. It was insane. It was insane. Yeah. It's like the the bench was so deep. Yeah. Whoever you put, whoever you put, it oh. was Jonathan Banal's dad. Like, like yeah, 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 coach Koy, coach Koy. Hold up. So, rookie of the year, mm-hmm. sophomore slump, mm-hmm. MVP season. Yeah, that was your final season. Final season call was Alan Mang- Alan Mangahas rookie of the year. That's when I started getting my low back injury. Okay, so you played four seasons total. Yeah, four seasons. Okay, yeah. so rookie of the year, bad year, MVP, yeah. and then your senior year. Yeah. That's when it started. That's when it started. That's when it really started. I say it happened during a PBL game. So it happened during a PBL game. I was playing um um no, what's that? Was that Magnolia? Oh yeah, Magnolia. San Mig San Mig Coffee. PBL. San Mig Coffee. PBL, and my coach was. Um, Koy Banal. Mm-hmm. And I, we play in Harbor Center. Pag tira ko, pag layup ko, pag I did a floater, when I did a floater, the ball bounced back towards me. Pag rebound ko, I was going to put it back. So, mush, put it back. Edwin Asoro, instead of grabbing a ball, he grabbed my arm and he pulled me down. And I was like up in the air, Mike. I was like up, like my feet was up. And I, boom, this was live TV and I landed on my back. And it, it was so bad. It was so bad. I was laying on the floor. I still remember this. They they went on commercial. <laughs> they went on commercial. Because you, you couldn't right? get they up. Went, I couldn't get up, man. I couldn't get up. Coach George Gallant, Coach George Gallant had to leave the bench and walk towards me. Because me and Coach George, yeah. um, I played a little bit for him when I was at yeah. Harbor before I got traded. And he Case Casey, okay lang. Don't get up. Don't get up. Don't get up. I didn't know how bad it was. And then when I landed, when I was sitting there, I was like, man, I don't know. Like, it just doesn't feel right. Parang, like, hmm, it just doesn't feel right. And over time, over time, Mikey, that was it. That whole year, Mapua year, back spasm, back spasm, akroksha, akroksha, painkillers, painkillers. And when I got drafted by Alaska, I started feeling it. So, I would I would go like this, you know, some, like I would punch my leg because you sciatic nerve gonna like to start now. And then that was it, man. That was my last in my pua. I did okay in my pua, like I still played really really well, but it was like I would take a week off because in my lower back, oh. right? I would take like a couple of days. I would miss a game. That was you see me in like games. I would I would be like this because you could go. I just couldn't take it anymore. Um, and then in the middle of practice, in the Alaska, in the middle of practice, it was triangle, mm-hmm. pinch, pinch post. So I got it on the pinch post. I was up top, and I passed it to Sunny Toss. I passed it to Sunny. Sunny handed off. I hand off it. I was gonna do a spin move. It was displayed. That was hand off back screen alley oop to Sunny. When I got the ball, Sunny came to my left side. I spun to my right, and then that was it. Whoop. And I, I was like, oh, shit. My lower back was like, oh, what the fuck happened? And collapsed on the floor, and that was it, man. This was 5-on-0. Oh. This was like scrimmage. Oh, scrimmage. Okay. But no one this hit was, you. 
No one hit me. I just spun. That's why everybody was like, whoa, LA was my teammate. LA Tenorio was my teammate. Willie Miller was my teammate. Jeff Cariasso, Brandon Cablai, Tony De La Cruz. This was Coach Tim Cohn. Coach Tim Cohn, uh, right? Um, so, uh, I think this was why you were in the second round. Yeah, yeah. because they already knew last year ko nang mapuwa, word, word in the street is yung likod ko start na. So that's why you were the 16th pick, I believe. 16th, uh, right? 15th. 15th. 15th, pick. 15th pick. So, so fifth they, pick in the second round. Fifth, fifth pick in the second round. So they the, the question was, how is the injury? Because I would miss some games. I would miss a couple of weeks. So that's the yung parang word in the street. Na parang, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's good, but maybe there's a difference. Because I, I, would miss, I would miss games. I, I, that year, I missed a couple of PBL games. Uh, and it just didn't feel right, man. It just didn't feel right. So it came like that one fall. That was it. That was it. Tuloy, tuloy tuloy na Nagbago na talaga lahat. Ever since that fall, ever since that fall, um, it just didn't feel right. Yeah. Parang, like, yung katawan mo, you just know. Yeah. You know, like, you just know in your body na it doesn't respond the same way. How many years from that fall until that, the one in Alaska, the one you were saying, practice? Um, Ilang years yung ano nun, agwat nun? Two. Two years lang? Two years. So, I went to... So it happened, it happened right after. I fell right after my MVP. NCAA. NCAA. And then I missed some games and missed some games and missed some games. And Alaska drafted me. Yep. After Alaska drafted me, I went one year, rookie year, <laughs> rookie year under Tim Cohn. Good luck. Good <laughs> luck with that. You didn't you're get runs. Getting, you're not getting fucking runs, boy. You're not getting runs. Pukas. Scotty Thompson lang ang nakalaro na rookie ni Coach Tim. That's right. <laughs> Good luck. And at that time, bro, at that time, my idol, my idol was Mark, Mark Agiwa. Agiwa. Yeah. And I was like, man, I was like, woo, Mark Agiwa, let's go. Like, I, I can, bro, I was like, let's I can go. Like, I can, I, I can move like that. Like, yeah. I remember in, in practices, Pugsy Tim Cohn, okay, guys, tomorrow we play Hinebra. Casey, that's what Tim Cohn would call me. Casey, I need you to be Mark Agiwa today. So you guys need to go with Coach Jojo Lastimosa yep. and run the plays um, so that we can play defense. Yep. And man, I was like, when I hear Coach Tim go, Casey, I need you to be Mark. And I'm like, let's go. Give me the ball. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Let's give me the ball, man. That was it. That was so that, it, was, that was your rookie season. That, that was, was your like, rookie season. You just had fun with it. Oh, I just had fun with it, man. Yeah, I knew... I knew I wasn't going to get playing time over LA. Jeff Cariaso was like 14th year in the season. Brandon Kablai is Brandon Kablai. Yeah. Willie Miller is Ali Peek was here? Wala na, wala na. Wala Ali, na. Ali Peek, he was, he was, um, talking text. Talk text. Yeah. Okay. So, um, how many, so you played one season in Alaska? Two. One full, two seasons. One full season. The practice happened in that second season. That's yeah, like transitioning. Yeah, so it was off season. It happened off season. Uh, off season. So what happened? So what happened in practice? Like, what was the diagnosis? Sorry, sorry. What was the finding during the off, like in practice when you said you've collapsed? I had three herniated discs. I had three. So right, right after that, so I fell. So Coach Monch, Coach Monch Gavieres, he he told me, I believe a couple of weeks before it happened. Sabi ni Coach Monch, Casey, I think you have, I think yung, yung likod mo, I think may tama ka. I think may injury ka. Don't, you never had it checked? No, man, I didn't have a check. Like, at that time, I was like, so, uh, I was like, yeah, it's like, I, you know, you're, you're a kid, yeah, right? Yeah, you're a kid. Yeah. And you're just like, wala yan, ano lang yan. Pag, pag, like, you're just sore. You're just sore. You know, like, looking back now, and especially what I do now, I'm a strength and conditioning coach. So now it's, like, stupid, you know? Um, yeah, it happened. And Coach Monch gave me a warning. He said, I think my tama ka. I think you need to slow down and you, you need to see pa MRI ka. And I was like, ah, wala yan, coach, wala yan. And the finding was, the doctor was, like, when he saw, when he saw my MRI scan, um, the doctor was like, holy shit. He's like, you probably had one. But over time, it got worse. Ah, uh, so, so you could have fixed it the first time. That's right. You, I could have fixed it the first time. My eto, So here's your wall. Here's your spine wall. So the disc was the disc was the disc in your wall is like this connected yeah. to wall. Yeah. 
ba? The three days sa ilalim was like this, outside Alayun. the wall. Alayun. Yeah, so it kicked out the wall. In between that, so inside here, was my nerve. Every time I would move, my nerve it, it wasn't it wasn't sending signals because it was so pinched, Mikey. It was like that. Like my 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 disc was like that. So I was like, so that's the reason why I was like, man, how come I can't feel my leg, my right leg? Can you my feeling right right leg go? Because uh, well, I no signal. It was like yeah, it was like my nerve was. And it never was the same after that. Never the same, man. Even to this day, even to this day, like your your body recovers, but your body never forgets. Yeah. Right. So. You know, when I play now, when I play yung mga Filipino league dito, yeah. yung mga ko, sometimes I'll play for like 45, 30, 45 minutes. I'm like, okay, bro. So, Kasi ka na din. Yeah, and, and, and I, I feel it, right? Like I'm like, oof, you know. But yeah, it's, it just wasn't the yeah. same. It just so wasn't af- the same. So after that Alaska incident, you play a couple more years, try to fix it, try to fix it. And then you decided. I played at ABL. ABL. Ako. ABL. You played San Miguel. I played Marpato. San Miguel. Two, two years ABL. Oh. Last year, called they released me because, um, to be honest, it was it was it was my fault. I, I was still living in the past. Oh. I was like, do you know who I am? Like it yeah. was like, ah, oh, do you know who I am? I'm I'm gonna go on, gonna go on, gonna go on. Um, I was I was in a different different you know in a different sense in a different head. I was. Mayabang, I was conceited. I was still living in the past. Um, I would play good in practice, but then they wouldn't give me playing time. Um, so they actually, you know what? They understandably, and I respect it. Looking back now, I'm glad they released me because I was a terrible basketball. I was a terrible teammate. I was a terrible teammate. I was a terrible player for the post. I was, I was not coachable, and I lost my job because of it. And so, so that was you played two seasons in San Miguel. And then yeah. that happened mm-hmm. right after you were unsigned. Mm-hmm. You, what was the plan after that? Was it like so searching? I, I yeah, sa, I went to Meralco mm-hmm. and then I went to I went to Meralco and I went to Air 21 at that time. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I joined a couple of practices, but they did. I know Air 21 Coach Yang at that time. He told me. Um, maybe look somewhere else because at that time, see, si, see, si, who's that guy? Nung sinipa niya yung fans. Si Winnie, Kuya Winnie Arboleda. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he was there, and then they had some. They had a legit squad. Yeah. Their mm-hmm. guards, they had a legit squad. And then Meralco at that time, um, they had like 15 players, man. Uh, so you just yeah. couldn't crack a spot. I couldn't crack a spot. Well, up on MPBL, well, on MPBL at that time, D League had an age limit. I don't know mm-hmm. why D League had an age limit twenty seven Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere like that. You're like you're twenty seven. You're not allowed to play. Yeah. Um, so basically, no more basketball. Like there's no basketball other than ABL and PBA. Nothing. That's true because there is no PBL anymore. Zero. Okay. Well, uh, so that's when you decided. Uy, na lang yeah, I left. I left. I left, and then I went back to Canada. I trained. I got stronger and. Mm-hmm. What was scary, Mikey, is when I went back, I didn't retire from the Philippines. In my mind, I wanted to go back. I wanted to go back and play. What was scary is when I went back to Canada and I started training, I got even better. Like, I got stronger. I got stronger. Yung yung sinasabi nila na yung 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 mama, yung your mama, your your nagmature na yung talaga yung katawa mo because at that time I was like 30 something already so I started coming to my own but then I started my program my basketball program uh, right and then it was like it's one of those things it was like do I go back to the Philippines because I'm my MPBL na meron na mga liga oh, ulit this was just like two years ago three years ago then a couple years ago like Don Dula is my best friend yeah so Don Dula is my best friend get you for Davao yeah Don Dula is my best friend so when Don, when Don played ABL, he was at Singapore. Yeah. And he called me, he called me one, he called me after our practice ABL. He's like, hey, um, a team, they're starting to, they're starting this league. They're starting to do this league, MPBL. Um, what should I do? Should I take this coaching job in Davao? Yeah. And I said, go for it, man. Go for it. Right. Go for it. So long story short, he's the head coach now. Yeah. So that was the chip. time. <laughs> 
That was the time. Yeah, they just won the championship. Yeah, they just won a chip. Right? They just won a chip. Wait, wait, wait. So how Anyways, old are you sorry, now? A lot. Sorry, I'm skipping a lot. No, it's all good. It's all good. How old are you now? 37. So when the MPBL started, you were like 33, 34. Mga ganon. Yeah. Because Paolo Hubalde is still playing now. He's 30. Absolutely. Puede pa. I see these guys now. I see oh, yeah, these for guys. sure. Marquis is playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marquis was my teammate, Subwana. Yep. So me and Marquis go way back. So, napaisip ka. Of course. Oh, siyempre. Yeah. So, Don, Don would message me, hey, bro. He's like, I, I, uh, do you still want to play? Yeah. For sure. Even to this day, Don and I, even Don yeah. and I would joke around and go yeah. back. And... But you already started something and you were like, okay, yeah. why can't I just continue this now? Because you knew, well, you know to this day, like, if you go back to basketball, it'll be just good for how many more years? Maybe five. <laughs> probably, yeah. You'll probably be lucky right. if you get five in. Right. I mean, in all, in all, in all honesty, like, realistically speaking, you're 37. Yeah. You're lucky to get five. What are we five. doing? What are we doing, really? You yeah, know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what are we doing? Now? You got to <laughs> let go. You got to <laughs> let go at some point. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's like, you got to know. Like, you know, for me, I don't live, you don't, I don't live in the Philippines anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like, I won a championship. I played against at that time, probably in the, you know, I played with LA. I played with. For sure. For sure. Yeah. So it was like, even though I had no career, I would say like, even though I didn't have a career. Well, you did your shit, man. You did your shit. But what, like, I'm not going to go back and play. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's unfortunate. Maybe it wasn't the career that you were looking at, but to go yeah. back, it's like, Yo, you're starting yeah. something already. You're fulfilling. Yeah, you're fine. You found fulfillment elsewhere. Yeah. And and you're gonna trade like something that you can do for the like the future, like mm-hmm. for a long, long time, for a couple of years of just yeah. to make yourself feel like, oh, I can play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's bigger. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it for sure. It's bigger, right? Because you know, like I have meron na ako mga Filipinos uh, sa program. I have Filipinos in my program, and they they ask me like, coach, like, help me. Like, how, how did you do it? And 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 I tell them like you guys are lucky because you guys have you can make your mixtapes now. Mm-hmm. You guys can have you guys have Twitter now. You guys have social media now. Yeah. You have all these like outlets. Back then, none. We didn't have none of that. Yeah. <laughs> you were, you gotta did, you gotta did your shit. You gotta you had to be extra extra special. Yeah. To gain you attention. had to show up. You had to show up to tryouts. You, you had, had to, to show stand up. To down. You had to stand. Yeah. So. so so now, I mean, for this whole segment, this is exactly what it is. It's what's up with you now? Like, I know that you're a strength and conditioning coach. And yeah. rightfully so, now we understand why you didn't go back. Because you had something going on. If you were yes. a bum, you would have gone back. <laughs> I mean, if you were a bum, obviously, was, like... But, yeah, if I was working 9 to 5, I'd probably... I would true. probably be coaching... I'd probably be coaching MPBL, Mapua, or still playing basketball. That's true. Or still playing MPBL or PBA, practice player. Because mm-hmm. it's possible, man. It's possible. Yeah, but right? you're like, like, hanging up the nga. Yeah, bigger than like bigger, bigger than me. Exactly. Like God, God has given me a a bigger calling. So like, now, what's this? Um, rise, rise hoops. Yeah, rise hoops. So it's a youth program, AAU. Okay. So we start from the age of age of five and then we work up to age 21 mm, and we we get the kids prepared to go to college we try to give them d1 offers we try to give them college offers um we trap we can't really travel right now yeah um we before we would go to vegas you might aau you yeah. Mga yeah. Games. yeah so now you're coach kelvin coach i'm KC. coach k now coach k uh, <laughs> yeah, so you're I'm coach, coach k, k. now but I won't be surprised though, since you have all the connections out here, you're gonna send a couple of your kids here for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the plan, man. That's the plan is to make a to partner up with the right people. Um, uh, banjo, banjo Albano. Banjo, yep, yep. That's my guy. So we're in close contact. So we have lots of plans. We have a couple ideas. Um, yeah, man. We, it's, it's exciting, yeah. right? Like you know, just trying to pass it down. So I want to start a group here where we can um, take care of the Filipino community here yeah. to send over there. And that's it right there. I mean, we, we talked about like this whole episode, we talked about like the rise and like the stardom of Kelvin De La Pena to Rookie of the Year, MVP. And then I don't want to say the fall, but like the, 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 the yeah. obstacles that he had to go through. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. now you find fulfillment. I mean, mm-hmm. like we said at the start of this, this whole episode, we said that you were one of the firsts 
mm. first Phil Ams. I don't. Want, I still don't want to call you a Phil Am. Like first, <laughs> one of the first from a from another country to come in play college basketball. So you have all the experience. You're one of the first. Yeah. Yeah. So now you're trying to give back and make sure that the kids are taken care of. Yes, they have an opportunity because you were the one of the guys who opened doors, especially yes. college basketball. Usually, when Phil Ams came back, they would play in the PBA. Mm-hmm. You played straight college. Straight college from like the ground. Yep. So yeah. yeah, like I can see where where it's coming from, like the passion to teach these kids and let them know, like the the do's and don'ts. Mm-hmm. I mean, you had a lot of do's and you also had a lot of don'ts. <laughs> mm. Don't do this. <laughs> Lots of it, man. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. So, like that's exactly it, man. Sometimes it doesn't work out the way you thought it would, but it still worked out. Yeah, huge believer. I'm a huge believer that. I, I really believe that things happen for a reason. Man. For sure. I really sure. do. And I'm telling I, you, man, yeah. people, you're still Kelvin, Kelvin Del Pena out here. I'm telling you, like, my okay. comment section, they're still like, oh, where's Kelvin Del Pena? How's Kelvin Del Pena doing? Because oh, I was awesome. supposed to message you even before Mark messaged me. I didn't even know that you were cousins with Mark because I was going to your era. Like, I, I messaged um, you, Pong. Yeah. I have Marvin Hayes. Yes. Marvin. Marvin. <laughs> I have Ron J. and Relit this week as well. So, Amazing. Man, it's 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 nice to see from ball is life. Yeah, I mean ball still is life, but in a different different position. realm now. Yeah, different position, different perspective now, right? Yep. So so it's yeah. it's like it's it brings me joy. It brings me joy when I see all kids, all race, all kids, you know, all backgrounds. But it it, it gives me it gives me this special joy when I see a Filipino kid because I know that what it did for me what yeah. what experiences that has you know given given to me um so i when i see this filipino kids and to think that if they really wanted to mikey if they really wanted to there is a whole different society out there and so. you're the one you 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 know and you can tell them and they would listen to you because you, know, you yeah. just got to show them the tapes because i don't know they know <laughs> i don't know they i don't know if they still they, they know old school tapes now they have they have terrible clippage of me <laughs> online every time i look at youtube like sometimes like oh my kids like coach is this really you i'm like yeah it's bad don't watch don't watch that don't, don't watch don't watch <laughs> the watch the mvp rookie of the year don't time watch that. don't watch that but yeah i have some but man, it's crazy, man. Well, I'm gonna give you a few, like I'm gonna give you the time to say what's up to all your Filipino fans, man. They miss yeah. you, man, for yeah. sure. And man, they want to know where you are. And now I'm just happy that I could share your story, man. To everybody that supported me throughout my my years in the Philippines, um, maraming maraming salamat. Thank you so much for uh, supporting and uh, cheering me on. Um, and to all the young guys out there that's uh, aspiring to play at the next level, um, believe that it can happen. I mean, for me, coming from Canada, the first one, the really one of the first ones to ever make it here from my city, uh, it can happen. Uh, but again, thank you guys for having me. Thank you, Mikey, for having me and you know letting me share my story in your uh, platform. So thank you guys. Thank you for the time, brother. I mean, yeah, um, it's crazy. It's crazy when you look back. <laughs> and I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you. I can't nice. wait for the time that... I don't know if you've sent someone already over here, like, like a kid, college, high school. Um, or, so I have I have one guy, his name is coming up. He just moved there. His name is Paul Gulfo. Where is he? He just arrived this week, actually. Oh, so, so he's new, like new, new. He's new, new. So he's... Uh, He's not really my. He was one of my coaches, actually. He was my, he was oh, one of my okay. junior coaches, okay. and how old is he? He's trying out. He's gonna try it there. He's gonna try. It. Hopefully, he makes it, man. How old is he? He is twenty four. Wait, where is he gonna try out? Not college anymore. No, 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 no. He's gonna play the three on three PBA. Too. I heard. I heard the three on three is gonna be a professional league there now. Yeah, PBA. So, Either so, yeah. PBA or yeah, PBA three on three. Yeah, something like that. And yeah. he's gonna be playing during halftime or something. Yeah, he's gonna yeah. go up against like Jason Brickman, Jeremiah Gray. There you go. Yeah, there I mean, go. hopefully, as long as long as he gets the exposure, we'll see what. Yeah, happens. so that's but, the goal for him. That's the goal for him. That's exciting, though. I mean, again, for one of your kids to grow up under your guidance, and then we'll see what happens when you send him over to the yeah. Philippines. Everybody will know, man. If if Kelvin De La Pena sent him, he should be good. <laughs> <laughs> I got some young guys, man. I got some young guys here that like 13 year olds. Exactly. Probably I would say one of the best in Western Canada at that age. And there's like 
five, six Filipinos at that age, man. Yeah. Okay. It's crazy. Yeah. You, they go, they know. go, they go to the States and play Americans at that age group and they just Okay. Well yeah. You never know. Maybe, maybe I, I can get some of those kids out here on the show when yeah, they're man. when they're big time already, when they're like <laughs> UAAP and CAA. You already know, man. And Coach K has a this 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 yeah. gray hair. Coach K. <laughs> I appreciate you though, man. I appreciate you, Mikey, man. Thank, Thank you so you. much, man. Thank you for allowing me to share your story. I can't wait. I'll, I I'll probably edit this this afternoon and then put it out tonight. Everybody's okay. been looking for you. Thank I you, I appreciate Mikey. you. You take care of yourself. Stay healthy out there. You too, good, man. Yeah. Touch. Good luck. Good luck, man. Good luck. Peace, bro. Stay safe. You stay safe. Yeah, man. Because the energy level of Borgi when he came in to replace Etrosipong Escobal was the time that...